Hi everyone, this is Will at Undo Media. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add and animate cinematic black bars like this in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is a highly requested tutorial, but it's a super simple effect that works well for video intros and outros like this, and it's a great way to ease in and out of that widescreen cinematic aspect ratio we're all used to seeing in big budget feature films. This effect works really well with panoramic scenes and drone shots, and I kind of prefer the slow reveal for this type of footage. But you can open or close these black bars as fast or slow as you like, depending on your needs. And I'll also show you how to save this as an effect preset you can use in any of your projects. Okay, I think you get the idea. Let's dive right into this. I've got two pieces of video footage here in the timeline and the music track I used for that intro. I'm going to bring in my black bars during this dramatic mountain shot, which frames up perfectly for a nice wide cinematic aspect ratio. I threw in a couple quick jump cuts here just to match the music and change of tempo leading into the next shot, a fly through between and then rising out of and above these huge walls of ice. So we travel from this tight confined space out into a vast open landscape and that's when I want to animate my black bars back out. We are going to create this entire effect on an adjustment layer. We'll click on new item adjustment layer and confirm that these settings match our sequence. Then we'll drag that adjustment layer over onto a track above our clips and extend it out to match the full length of all these clips. Next, we'll come over to the Effects panel and search for Crop, which you'll find within Video Effects, Transform, Crop, and drag that effect onto our adjustment layer. I'll move the playhead over to where I want my cinematic bars to finish the first animation in, so right about here is where those black bars will be fully in view. Then I'll come over to the Effect Controls panel, and here's that crop effect. And you can see we have controls to set the left, top, right, and bottom crop percentages. We only need the top and bottom parameters here. I'm going to set each of these to 12.2%. And there's our cinematic crop. Now, depending on the look you're going for, you can set these top and bottom values to whatever you like. I've gone with 12.2% here because that works out to a 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio, a pretty common widescreen aspect ratio. But we are baking these black bars into our video, so there are no hard and fast rules. Generally between 10 and 13% will look pretty good. So next I'll click the stopwatches beside top and bottom to set keyframes for each. And I want to begin my animation right where the music changes tempo a little. And you can see that spot here in the audio waveform. So I'll move the playhead over here in the timeline, and I want my black bars to start coming in at this frame. Then back in the Effect Controls panel, I'll click on Reset Parameter beside those top and bottom controls, which will set keyframes for each at their default values, which are zero. And now I have my cinematic black bars all set up to animate in. To animate them back out, I'll just go back over to my timeline, and I want to pick a spot where my music changes tempo once again. And then this time click the little diamonds beside top and bottom to add another pair of keyframes. Move the playhead to where I want my animation to finish, and click those reset parameter buttons one more time. So now I've got my black bars sliding in, sticking around for a while, and then sliding back out. And I can polish this up a little more. I can make this animation a little smoother, a little more organic. I want these black bars to decelerate a little as they slide into position. So I'll select the two keyframes where the black bars finish coming in, right click, and choose Ease In. And then I'll do the same with the last two keyframes, where my black bars leave the frame. Now, this whole thing runs almost a minute long, so I won't make you sit there and watch this play. But I will show you how easy it is to save this as an effect preset, so you can reuse it and quickly customize it in other projects, and speed up your editing workflow. Just right-click on that crop effect, and click Save Preset, which will open up this Save Preset dialog box. Give this new preset a name. I'll go with Cinematic Animated Bars. Leave the type as Scale, and click OK. Now if I look over in the Effects panel under Presets, there's my new preset. 
and I can now use this just like any of the other effects built into Premiere Pro. So I just happen to have another clip queued up here. I'll bring in another adjustment layer above that clip, come back to the effects panel, and drag my new preset onto that layer. And now over in the effect controls panel, you'll see that preset and all the associated keyframes. I've got my black bars animating in, then out. And if I want, I can change things up here. I could tighten up all these keyframes if I wanted everything a little quicker, or even delete the first or second set of keyframes if I only wanted my black bars animating in or out, but not both. Which is how I think I'll leave this clip and wrap up this tutorial. Field of Dreams, Undo Media Director's Cut. If you upload it, they will watch. Have a great day, everyone.